Railway electrification in Iran describes the past and present electrification systems used to supply traction current to rail transport in Iran with a chronological record of development, a list of lines using each system, and a history and a technical description of each system. The project is sometimes abbreviated to RAIELEC, in which RAI is the abbreviation of Islamic Republic of Iran Railways, Persian, Burki Kurdan Ra on Dr. Iran ABBR. Early electrification, Tabriz Jolfa After initial negotiations in 1969, railway electrification in Iran started in 1975, with a contract with USSR to electrify the Tabriz to Jolfa route in East Azerbaijan province near the border with the former Soviet Union. The work would include a bogey exchange facility. The Tabriz Jolfa line was originally established in 1916 before the main network in 1938 with the wide gauge 1524 mm 5 feet and was changed to standard gauge after connection of Tabriz to the national network. Tabriz Jolfa is a single line rail track 146 km long with nine stations in between. The maximum grade is 2.8% and the minimum curve radius is 400 m. The catenary voltage is 25 kV with booster transformer. Three substations exist, in Tabriz, Mirand and Jolfa with four or three single-phase transformers from Alstom each having 15 MW of capacity supplying the power. The eight locomotives used on this line with Bo-Bo configuration have been built by ASEA from Sweden based on RC4 type from SJRC family. Topic: Electrification specification. The electric line voltage is 25 kV, 50 Hz, 25 kV AC railway electrification with substations in Tabriz, Mirand and Jolfa fed by 132 kV from the national grid. The N substations have three 15 MW transformer and the Mirand substation has four transformers. Topic. Track specification Track specifications in current and planned electrified lines in Iran are as follows. Topic. Operational information Topic. Recent projects Topic Pilot projects Recently another contract was signed with the Russian railway RZD in February 2009 to connect the Tabriz electric line to Azershar to the south with a length of 46 km single track with 140 km per hour speed that was inaugurated in 2012 October 13, continuing the line to Banab and Marifa and possibly to Urmia through the Shahid Kalantari bridge is planned. The bridge has the rail track integrated, like Orsund Bridge, the existing electric line could be connected to Orame and Marifa. Also Shabe Star and Salmas, relying on existing facilities and locomotives will be electrified. 
On the northern route it is planned to connect Sufyan to Shab Star and Salmas. Topic. Main project A tender for electrification of the Tehran Mashhad double track line would supply 70 electric locomotives with cab signaling that will increase the speed to 200 km per hour for passenger car trains and 250 km per hour for tilting trains like Talgo. Electric trains will reduce the existing journey time from 12 hours down to 6 hours and multiple train units emus from existing 8 hours to less than 5 hours. The line is equipped with optical fiber communication and CTC center for railway signal. This project as well as electrification and locomotives, also includes SCADA, five years maintenance, and backup power generation. The contract includes dual-mode vehicles for maintenance. A ceremonial construction start for the Tehran Mashhad electrification took place on 1 February 2012. The completion is expected in 2014. Topic: Second passenger projects. It is planned to expand electrification to the northwest up to the existing line at Tabriz with 200 km per hour speed for passenger trains and 250 for tilting EMU or trains like railjet that is part of Silk Road and the transit route from Almaty to Istanbul and Islamabad to Istanbul as one of main task and objectives of eco-economic cooperation organization and one of the emphasized routes of ESCAP United Nations Economic and Social Commission for Asia and the Pacific. The first phase of this project will be from Tehran to Zanjan to make it more economic and also to prepare the new under construction includes straightening the route from Tabriz to Miane that will decrease the distance from Tehran to Tabriz about 100 km and for this stepwise plan dual mode or electro-diesel locomotive could help justifying the project. Recent inauguration of a four-track cut and cover 9 km railway line in Tehran West Railway to Tabriz has made the project more feasible. In the beginning of 2012 a five-member consortium was formed and proposed to do the project as bot base. Future projects Topic Effects on stations The layout of stations in Iran such as Tehran and Mashhad train stations will be affected by electrification the railway platform in other stations could be extended in the future. Topic: Locomotive. Topic: Existing electric locomotives. The locomotives in Tabriz Jolfa has been built by Azia based on Sweden type RC4 from SJRC family with 3600 kilowatts and 100 kilometers per hour. 8 units are in operation. The locomotives in Tehran Karaj Metro is TM1, TM2, 
TM3 similar to SS8 with 3,200 kW and 140 km per hour from Zhuzhou Electric Locomotive Works, China, counting for 56 units. Topic. New locomotive specification Passenger locomotives type Bobo according to UIC classification of locomotive axle arrangements shall provide a continuous tractive effort of more than 240 kilonewtons freight locomotives Coco more than 480 kilonewtons and all weather adhesion shall be at least 33% Passenger locomotives shall be equipped to provide head-end power HEP to the train. The locomotive prototype shall be available six months before inauguration to allow for the homologation phase. A mock-up and pilot experiment for EMUs could be used to expedite the accepting process. Topic. Common platform locomotive One of the major bottleneck to start operation of an electrified line in countries like Iran with rare electric track is to use the concept of a common platform locomotive like TRAXX from Bombardier that makes the supply phase faster and more cost effective. This capability has been considered in Iranian Railways AD43C that is originally diesel electric but can be converted to electric locomotive. This capability has not been considered in Iran Runner. 6 Topic: <laughs> Dual mode locomotive Another solution is using dual-mode locomotives for stepwise electrification. Electro-diesel locomotive Topic. Locomotive approval test The locomotive test and approval, homologation would be done according to RAI, UIC, AAR, TTCI Transportation Technology Center and like SNCF Class BB 75000. Tendering process The initial study was done by Rai Vice President for Planning and International Affairs in 2003 specially by calculating the benefit of electrification in locomotive saving in long passenger trains that was argued by the Railway Research Center MATRAI. After convincing the top managers and management and planning organization MPO, it was approved by the government to make a feasibility study for electrification and this was accepted by the parliament in 2007. The study was carried out by a joint of METRA and Italfair according to United Nations Industrial Development Organization UNIDO, and FIDIC recommendations and Tehran — Mashhad was assigned as the first priority for being electrified. After this phase the tendering pre-qualification was prepared by a new joint venture of METRA and SISTRA and the request for proposal RFP, was released with conceptual design and by result obligations. <laughs> Electrification history Although railway electrification in Iran was started in 1975 it grounded down to a halt and stayed so 30 years. 
A contract for electrification of the Tehran Mashhad double track line and the supply of 70 electric locomotives was awarded in 2009. Speeds of up to 200 km per hour for locomotive hauled passenger trains and 250 km per hour for tilting emus will reduce existing journey times of 7.5 to 12 to less than 5 hours. Tehran Metro Line 5 One of the electric railways in Iran is Line 5 of Metro that uses 25 kV OCS and is operated by Tehran Metro. On 7 March 1999, an Overland Tehran Karaj Express electric train started a limited service of 31.4 km between Azadi Square Tehran, and Millard Karaj, calling at one intermediate station at Vardavard. The line was constructed by the Chinese company Narinko. Double-deck passenger cars for the Tehran Karaj commuter line are supplied by CNTIC and assembled by the Wagon Pars factory in Iraq. Locomotives of this line is similar to SS-8 and has been supplied by CSR Zhuzhou Electric Locomotive Works. Electrification projects A brief study was done to prepare a comprehensive planning for electrification development in Rai. <laughs> electrification projects map https colon slash slash sharemap dot org slash sanzia slash iran hash exclamation mark webgl http colon slash slash w dot open railway map org topic proposals Topic. Comprehensive Transport Study of Iran Parallel to the dynamic and flexible policies of the Islamic Republic of Iran regarding socio-economic development plan, Comprehensive Transportation Studies of Iran Comprehensive Transportation Studies of Iran CTSI, has been implemented to design an optimum and multilateral transportation system best in order to satisfy economical and secure movement of goods and passengers. The overall target of this plan is to prepare a program including reports and studies that comprises the main strategies for leading the Islamic Republic of Iran's transportation system as well as determining the priorities of allocating resources by considering the existing policies, criteria, necessities and priorities. Hence, the CTSI project is planned for achieving an optimum transportation system based on betterment of current situation and presenting investment priorities of transportation infrastructures in a 20-year outlook in order to provide means for economical and secure movement of goods and passengers with a constant view to economic, social and cultural development plan policies of country. Topic. Freight projects On the freight corridor, the electrification of BAFGH 
Bandarabas in Persian Gulf is planned as a build-operate transfer project with future continuation to Tehran and intermodal freight transport at both ends like Batuwirout, plus a classification yard. Bundar Abbas is close to Gezim Island that has 100 km length and could be connected by bridge. This line might also transport oil. Iron ore is one of the main commodities on this line, especially from Golgahar mine near Surgeon, Chaghart and Chidormalu near Bafgh to Isfahan for two steel plants and steel mills named Zobahan Isfahan Steel Company and Mobaraka. As the rail connection with Zahedan will be inaugurated in near future, it will make it possible to have a direct transit line from Central Asia to Pakistan and India possibly with variable gauge bogies and could be completed with a link to Chabahar port in the southeast of the country. The business plan to justify the electrification and supplying locomotives is going to be prepared. Topic. Electrification investment Transport demand is increased more than GDP in freight and less than it in passenger sector, and it is essential to provide appropriate means for transport by investing in infrastructures. Multiple structures have been considered, including BOT similar to Taiwan High Speed Rail as a public-private partnership PPP type investment, as well as High Speed Trains investment to buy a GV by Italian company Nuovo Trasporto Viaggiatori NTV. Transit-oriented development TOD, is also an approach that could be used mainly from urban areas in railway stations. Pacific Railroad Acts is a good benchmark for encouraging private sector for investment in railway network expansion programs. Effects of electrification on stations Electrification causes increased capacity of railway so the railway station layout changes accordingly. Some of railway stations in Iran are suitable for electrification, especially those that have been constructed after the Islamic Revolution. Topic. External cost The external cost of railway is lower than other modes of transport but the electrification brings down it even more, if it is sustainable. This is specially due to railway safety relative to road traffic safety, considering the value of life. Also energy from well to wheel, and the necessity to reduce pollutions and greenhouse gas in earth according to the Kyoto Protocol. The new approach to manage the CO2 is carbon credit. <laughs> Electrification effect on CDM One of the results of electrification is clean development mechanism, for carbon dioxide reduction. The clean development mechanism CDM, is one of the flexibility mechanisms defined in the Kyoto Protocol. Topic. Electrification effect on TOD Transit-oriented development or TOD is one of major concepts that has been considered to promote the presence of railway, metro and other modes of city transport in through increasing the interaction of transit by hoteling, marketing, services, housing. Topic. 
Topic: Electrification standards. Some of main UIC standards in railway electrification are UIC 791-1, Maintenance Guidelines for Overhead Contact Lines UIC 799, Characteristics of A, C, Overhead Contact Systems for High-Speed Lines Worked at Speeds of Over 200 km per hour and European Union codes like N50119, Senelec Standard Railway Electric Traction Contact Lines N15227 about the crashworthiness requirements for railway vehicle bodies IEC 61133 Rules for Testing of Electric Locomotive the first electrification standard for Iran was prepared by CAMPSIX in 1977 as part of a general standard. Electrification industries IDRO Industrial Development and Renovation Organization of Iran as a developing organization is responsible to develop the industry sector and to accelerate the industrialization process of the country. It has become one of the largest Iranian holding company, conglomerate, company in recent years. Iranian railway industry are either belonging to IDRO or private sector and the electrification industries among them are like TAM, Arankodro, Sanam, Arantransfo. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Electrification consultants. Because of short history of railway electrification and suburb metro with 25 kV there are not so many consultants for this in Iran, but some of them are Metra, IMER, Motioneer, Harizra, Iranostan, Araco Azarash Rail Arya. Electrification railway maps Some of suitable railway map sources with infrastructure and speed classification as well as topographic contours are as follows https colon slash slash www.google.com slash maps slash https colon slash slash www.openrailwaymap.org slash https colon slash slash www.marinetraffic.com Topic Electrification Cost The electrification cost as part of railway prices and costs depends on the speed or the class of the track like speed limits in the United States rail. In 1984 the World Bank's Railways and Energy Report provided estimates of typical costs, according to the Book of Prices and Costs in the Railway Sector by Professor Baumgardner from Switzerland the rough estimation of traction substation cost as 0.2 million euro per megavolt amper and 0.2 million euro per kilometre of line with 300 kilometres per hour and 0.15 for 100 kilometres per hour. Topic: Import tariff. Tariff of electrification equipment in Iran is 5% for locomotive and machineries. Topic. 
Topic: <laughs> Electrification right of way. Right of way in railway in Iran is 35 meters, but with electrification needs to be increased for higher speed and safety reasons. Topic: Railway electrification education. For higher education, it is considered to have MS level in railway faculty in Iran University of Science and Technology. Topic. See also. Islamic Republic of Iran Railways Matrai Trans-Iranian Railway History of rail transport in Iran Economic Cooperation Organization United Nations Economic and Social Commission for Asia and the Pacific <laughs>